Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Civil Learning Online. In this today in this video, I will be discussing about the Taylor's method in which we will be asked to, to solve the equation for the given value of x. We will be given the first order derivative y x naught is equal to y naught means the value of x naught and y naught will be given and the value of x will be given for which we need to solve the equation so without wasting time let's begin the solution and let's see how the equation dy by dx is equal to 2y plus 3 e to the power x is solved for x is equal to 0 0.2 for solving the equation by Taylor's method one must know the Taylor's equation which is given as Taylor, Taylor's equation is y is equal to y x naught plus y dash x naught times x minus x naught plus y double dash x naught times x minus x naught to the power 2 by 2 factorial plus y triple dash x naught times x minus x naught to the power 3 by 3 factorial we have to take up to power 4 plus y 4 x naught times x minus x naught to the power 4 by 4 factorial plus da 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 now you one strength you can see that we have first order derivative second order derivative third order derivative fourth order derivative so while beginning the solution first thing that we will be doing is we will be finding the first order derivative we will be given the first order derivative we will be finding the second order third order order and fourth order derivative of the given equation and then we will precede the solution so let's see the solution we have dy by dx is equal to 2x plus e 3 e to the power x which will be equal to y dash we all know that dy by dx can be represented by y dash so this is our y dash so second order derivative y double dash will be we will be finding the differentiation of this equation for solving the equation by Taylor's method one must have the good knowledge of derivative we do not need to have any extra knowledge but we should have the idea about solve the um, simple derivative likewise if I will be finding the derivative of this equation uh, with respect to x what we will have is 2 plus dx by dx will be equal to 1 3 into derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x and as we all know that the value of here from here x naught is equal to 0 this is written as y times x naught is equal to y naught so on equating we will get x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to 0 now if we will find the value of y dash by putting the value of x naught in this equation we will have y dash is equal to 2 into 0 plus 3 into e to the power 0 e to the power 0 means 1 and 2 into 0 is equal to 0 so y dash will be equal to 3 now see here here in the equation this is y so 2 into y y means y naught and y naught value is equal to 0 so this will be equal to 0 again y dash will be equal to 3 and uh, derivative of y with respect to x will be dy by dx so this will be written as y dash you understood or not see here this is y and derivative of y with respect to x derivative of y with respect to x this will be written as dy by 
dx so this is again y dash so this is y dash and we have got the value of y dash equal to 3 so this will be equal to 2 into 3 plus 3 into e to the power x means x naught and x naught value is equal to 0 say again y double dash will be equal to 6 now third order derivative y triple dash means we have to find the derivative of this term so this is going to be 2 into y double dash plus 3 into e to the power x again so 2 into y double dash is equal to 6 plus 3 into e to the power 0 see this is will be equal to 2 well again y fourth derivative fourth derivative again this is going to be 2 into y triple dash plus e 3 into e to the power 0 so this is going to be 2 into 2 well is equal to 24 I had done some mistake here I had not taken the value of 3 times e note 0 e note 0 means 1 so this will be added here and this is going to be 9 now the value of y double dash will be 9 means 18 plus 3 is equal to 21 and uh, again value of y3 will be 2 into 21 plus 3 into e to the power 0 means 1 21 to the 42 plus 3 this is going to be 45 now write the Tylor equation so for Tylor equation we have y is equal to y times x naught plus x minus x naught times y dash x naught plus x minus x naught square by 2 factorial times y double dash x naught plus x minus x naught to the power 3 by 3 factorial times y triple dash x naught plus x minus x naught to the power 4 by 4 factorial times y 4 x naught now put the value of all each and every terms so y x naught here we have y y x naught is equal to 0 y x naught is equal to y naught so y x naught value is given as 0 so for this is going to be 0 plus x minus x naught as we all know that x naught value is equal to 0 so x naught is going to be 0 in each and every term so we will have x into y dash x naught means y dash x naught is equal to 3 so put the value here 3 plus x naught is 0 x square by 2 into y double dash x naught y double dash x naught is equal to 9 here so put here 9 plus x naught is 0 x cube by 6 into y triple dash x naught is 21 plus x to the power 4 by 4 factorial times y4 x naught y4 x naught is 45 so we have got the equation now we are asked to find the value of uh, x is equal to 0 0.2 so at x is equal to 0 0.2 y is equal to 0 plus 0 0.2 into 3 plus 0 0.2 to the square by 2 into 9 plus 0 0.2 to the power 3 by 6 into 21 plus 0 0.2 to the power 4 by 4 factorial times 45 and the final answer will be the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.2 so solve this by using calculator we will get 0 0.2 into 3 plus 0 0.2 square into 9 by 2 plus 0 0.2 to the power 3 into 21 by 6 plus 0 0.2 to the power 4 into 45 by 4 3 are 2 well, 2 are 24. Into 45.
five by twenty four. The final answer is zero point eight one one. And here, this is the value of y at x is equal to zero point two. So, I hope this video was helpful to all of you guys who were trying to learn Taylor method. And uh, further, I will be adding one more numerical based upon the Taylor method. Hope you would like it and please do like and share and uh, do subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos related to civil engineering. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.